Hello, UCP students. Today, we're going to cook with Steve, and we're going to make Steve's banana muffins. Now, you should have gotten a recipe in your packet. We're going to, but here, I'm just going to name the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a bowl. You're going to need a spoon. You're going to need a um, spice cake mix, three ripened or very ripened bananas because they're sweeter, a snack cup of applesauce or which equals about one fourth cup of applesauce. You're going to need your muffin tin and cooking spray. Even though this is a nonstick muffin tin, it's always good to put in cooking spray. You're going to need a blender to puree your bananas and my secret toppings, which we'll get to later. First, you need to just because of the way things are, I'm going to do it with gloves because I plan on sharing these muffins with other people. So I'm going to put my gloves on. I've already washed my hands. And the gloves are repeat, but they, they do, they're coming to the right parts. Okay, first, you put the cake mix into the bowl. I'm going to try to do this without having it shoot all over the place. I couldn't find scissors, but if you have scissors or a knife to cut it, go ahead and do that. So you pour your cake mix into the bowl. What I like to do is I like to stir it around and kind of get some of the, it, comes, it has lumps in it, so you don't want a bunch of lumps. So just kind of smash your lumps, or if you had a fork, you could go through this with a fork. And this is spice cake mix. You could also use carrot cake mix, or you could use a white cake mix and put in the spices that make up a spice cake, which would be um, cinnamon, some clove, some allspice, or even pumpkin spice, but it's just easier just to get the spice cake mix because it's already done. Okay, after you get your cake mix in there, you're going to take your bananas and puree them. Whew, that was exhausting doing it that fast. So now, you pour the bananas into the cake mix. And you open up your applesauce, and you're going to put that into the cake mix as well. You don't need eggs or anything. The, the um, applesauce adds moisture. And then you just stir it. Now the thing is, is you want to combine it, but you don't want to over stir. So just fold it in until all of the uh, wet ingredients are mixed with the dry ingredients. So you don't have to put this on a blender. If you put it in a blender or if you use an electric mixer, it'll make your muffins tough. So you're just gonna get all of the dry ingredients wet. Okay, now we're going to spray our muffin tins with vegetable spray. Get something that scoops. An ice cream scoop works good, but we have this spoon that can get a pretty good amount in it. And you scoop up your thing and you fill your muffin tin about three-fourths of the way full. Also in your recipe book is, um, is a recipe for this step, which is optional. Some people just like their muffins just plain, but I like them with crumbles on them. And the way you make this crumble is it's one cup flour, one fourth cup uh, granulated sugar, one fourth cup brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then you just put it in a blender and just kind of pulse it and it makes these crumbles. And it always seems to make more than you need, so you can keep this in the freezer. And these are my pre-made crumbles, crumbles that I brought from home. Also, if you want to add nuts, these are ro walnuts that I roasted and then I chopped a little finer than they come in the package. And so I'm gonna put some walnuts on the 
tops of some of them underneath what's going to be the crumble. Because some people like nuts and some people don't and some people can't have nuts anyways. So these are for the people that are nutty. Like Monica and Christine. All right, after you've got the crumbles on, or not, because you don't have to put the crumbles on, you put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for anywhere between 13 to 18 minutes. Now, ovens are all different, so you're gonna wanna check it. I usually check it after about 12 minutes, and then I, I, I test it to see if it springs back. You also can put a toothpick um, in, and if the toothpick comes out clean, then they're done. It's been time and now we're going to take them out. Also, I forgot on the crumble recipe, the most important part. You need to put a whole stick of butter in that to make those crumbles. And you wanna chop up the, the butter first and then throw it into the blender when you're pulsating it. That's what makes it clump together as a crumble. And here they are. Steve's Banana Muffins. And here is the finished project. They're ready to share with other people or just to eat all by yourself. So stay tuned for more recipes. Also, from the Performing Arts Department, we'll be having some sing-alongs and some fun things with puppets. Also, gardening with Isaac and more creative art um, videos coming from the art department. See you guys later.